So, what's going on guys, Kade is here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today, we are taking a closer look at the top 5 best solo player builds in New World. So first things first, I will explain for each build what weapon combinations you want to use, then which abilities you want to choose, where do you want to spend your attribute points, what gear should you wear, and much more. So if you are playing by yourself and you want to know the most fun and best builds for PvP and PvE, then this is the video for you. And with all this said, let's get right into it. Then moving over to the first build which is the Warhammer and Hatchet. And these are the attributes you want to have. So like you can see you want to keep this 3 to 1 ratio. So when you have for example 150 strength you have 50 constitution and so on and so forth. And around level 60 you should have 300 strength and 100 constitution. And then as for your gear you want to go full light armor. And now let's move over to the first weapon which is the Warhammer. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So if you start from level 0 for this weapon it's super simple. You just want to unlock all these 3 abilities and then for the last ability called the Path of Destiny, unlock this next passive. Now from here you're feel free to spend points in whichever order you like. And then moving over to the hatchet and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all I would suggest to unlock this berserk ability and then the next two perks to that. Then unlock the sprint attack ability and then the next two perks to him as well. Then again unlock the last third ability and then the next two perks. And now let's take a closer look at the right side and unlock this perk. And last but not the least come back to the left side again and unlock this defy that perk. And now from here you're feel free to use your points in whichever order you want. And then for my final conclusions for this build. So overall this build is meant to be very good in open world pvp and pve as well. The main objective is to deal a lot of damage to players and then try to run away or run around till you get your main abilities back up again. So with all of these abilities and perks you're very fast and you can deal a lot of damage in a short period. And on top of all this you can consistently apply debuffs even from a range. So if you're looking for one of the best melee DPS builds as a solo player then this is the one for you. So enjoy! Then taking a closer look at the second build which is the spear and musket. And these are the attributes you want to have. So very similarly like in the previous build you want to have this 3 to 1 ratio. So always have dexterity 3 times more than constitution. But keep on getting your gear and spending points equally. So never just focus on getting dexterity first to the maximum but neither do the same thing to constitution. And then as for your gear you want to go full light armor. So then moving over to the first weapon which is the spear. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first you want to unlock this perk and then this sweep ability. And then the next perk to him. Now let's take a closer look at the other side and unlock this perk and then the second ability and lastly unlock this last ability and then these three perks. And now from here you're feel free to spend or use any points in whichever order you like. So then moving over to the second weapon which is the musket and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all if you start from level 0 unlock this perk and then this ability called the powder burn and then the next two perks to that as well. Then afterwards unlock the second ability and now let's move over to the other side and unlock this last third ability and then these three perks. And now from here you're feel free to spend your points in whichever way you like. So now for my final summary of this build. When you are in a solo pvp scenario you always want to start hitting with a musket powder burn. Then when the enemy or pve player turns to you throw your traps on the ground and create a control zone. If an enemy gets caught on a trap immediately use your shooter stance ability and you should be able to hit at least 3 headshots on him. Then when on a close combat turn to spear. If enemy is on your face do a sweep combo. And lastly when the enemy is up again use the vault kick. So this build is crit damage focused so your cooldown should be resetting very quickly. So you have the option to spam your CC abilities. Just don't forget to switch the musket and throw the traps on the ground always when available. And of course have fun playing the build. So then now let's go over to the third build which is the hatchet and life staff. And these are the attributes you won't have. So first things first get your focus up to 150 and then start building your strength and constitution. And around level 60 you should have 100 strength, 250 focus and 50 constitution. And last but not the least for the gear you want to go full medium armor. So then moving over to the first weapon which is the hatchet. And these are the weapon masteries you won't have. So first things first unlock this berserk ability and then the next two perks to that. 
then unlock the second ability and then the next two perks to him. And then unlock the third ability and now let's move over to the other side and unlock this one perk. And now from here you're full free to use your points in whichever order you like. So then going over to the other weapon which is the life staff. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So at the beginning I would suggest to unlock this perk and then this ability called the sacred ground. And now from here you can unlock all these 4 perks. And now let's go over to the other side and unlock this perk. Then unlock the second ability with these 2 perks as well. And then unlock this last third ability with these 3 perks. And now from this point you can spend your points in whichever order you want. So then as for my final conclusions for this build. In this new meta having a healing staff and being able to do damage is very OP. And especially as a solo player. If you come across another solo player or even two players it will be very hard to kill you as healing staffs are broken right now. So in general this build is really good for 1v1s, open world pvp and killing elite mobs for pve as well. And at any time you can easily turn this build into an expeditions healer build and much more. So if you are looking for the best solo slash group healer build then here it is. Then as for one of my last solo builds on the list I have the one and only Great Axe and Hatchet. And these are the attributes you want to have. So then first of all I would always recommend to put half of your gear stats and points in strength and half in constitution. So just split them evenly and around level 60 you should have 200 strength and 200 constitution. And last but not the least. For your gear choice you want to go full heavy armor. So then moving over to the first weapon which is the great axe. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. And if you start from level 0, first things first you want to unlock this reef ability. And then these two perks. Then afterwards unlock the second ability and then the next two perks to that. And now lastly unlock the third ability called the execute. And then unlock this next three perks. And now again from this point you're full free to spend any points in whatever way you like. So then with that said, let's go over to the second weapon which is the hatchet. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first, unlock this berserk ability and then the next two perks to that. Then unlock the second ability and then the next two perks to him. And now let's move over to the other side and unlock this one perk. And then the last third ability. And now from here you're full free to use your points in whichever order you want. So then in conclusion for this build. It is by far the best 1v5 and just in general open world solo build. Where if you play it right you can easily fight multiple players by yourself. And be tanky enough to withstand all the damage. And in return execute one player. Then back out till your cooldowns and health is back up again and go again. I have seen a lot of players using this build and using the strategy and being able to hold a bunch of player groups in different points of interest. So what are you waiting for? Try this build out for yourself and have fun. So now for my last and final build I have the bow and rapier. And these are the attributes you want to have. So then right off from the start you want to keep this 3 to 1 ratio. And if you have 150 dexterity you get 50 constitution and so on and so forth. And around level 60 you should have 300 dexterity and 100 constitution. And then last but not the least for your gear you want to go full light armor. And now let's move over to the first weapon which is the bow. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So then if you start from level 0 first of all you want to unlock this ability called the evade shot. And then the next perk to him. Then afterwards unlock the second ability and then these 4 perks. Then from here take a closer look at the right side. And unlock both these two perks. And then lastly unlock the last ability called the rapid shot. And now from here you're full free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. So then moving over to the second weapon which is the rapier. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So then first of all I would recommend to unlock all these three abilities. Then these two next perks and now go over to the left side. And unlock both these two perks. And then again from this point and onwards you can spend your points in whichever order you prefer. Now for my last and final conclusions for this build. So I personally played this bow and rapier for myself for the close and open beta. And I had a lot of fun. It is annoying of course to have to get arrows and it's pretty hard to hit moving targets with the bow. But believe me if you are looking to do solo pvp or event gathering then using bow and mastering all the skill points for sure will pay off in the long run. And you can use this build not only to escape and catch other players but as well move very fast around the map and much more. So for sure I recommend for you to try this build out and I hope you have fun. And with that said I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you have any suggestions, feedback or different solo builds that you would recommend to other players then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell so this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all of this said, you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next video. So take it easy, peace.